All right, buenos dias. This is Doug. Uh, I got the teams here. We're staying uh, here in a place I don't remember how to pronounce, Guatemala. And um, we're up here for as little as a couple of days to a couple of months, however long it takes. Cool swimming pool, teardrop style. Um, man, you gotta check this out over here. It's like a stinking volcano. I got to, I gotta let you see this. Man, the clouds are kind of covering it up so you can't see it. But there's a volcano over there, it's pretty sweet. But anyway, we are in search of what and, and I know a lot of people are gonna laugh at me when I say this, but we're in search of something that I believe is is very real. It's the um it's uh, the chupacabra. And in the last couple of months there have been several sightings and a couple of deaths so we're prepared and I'll let you guys meet the team now who is it man just let me in do glass dude could you have gotten any more obnoxiously huge of a camera well I mean this is kind of retro maybe come on in. you know <laughs> but um I know, it's ridiculous. I mean, we were watching okay. a Spanish movie, and we can't speak it, so we don't really understand what's going on. But you like, it's, it's like in, in color, right? So, you know. Well, there's there's a little bit of an issue there. Um, I priced color film, and the budget we all got together. You're kidding me. Dude, color film cost about <laughs> six times as much as black and white, so. Nobody's going to take it seriously with. With black and what are you talking about? A lot of directors and documentarians or whatever started off in black and white. Say hello, Miss Allie, Garrett, introducing the team, and there's B Mal. Don't tell anyone that we're in the girls' room. Well, who's who's, who's going to say anything? All right, so I mean, you guys got all your stuff together. You got your pepper spray and your uh, machetes. Well, yeah, we've got Allie's sweaty bandana that she's been wearing all so, week. <laughs> so just, so just throw that thing at it, and it'll. Este bandana. Yeah, you can throw it. All right, so, you know, I know we've been friends for a while, and I appreciate you guys coming out here and everything. But, you know, I believe. Are you film all of this. Yeah, seriously. No. Huh? What's the, what's the deal? Are you, is this are you recording right now? I'm recording right now. This is a documentary. All right, whatever. I mean, honestly, if you say something stupid, I'm just going to edit it out and post. But so, you know, we hear they don't go down too easily. But hey, you want Starburst? That's, no, because that thing looks kind of nasty. Yeah, it was in the toilet last night. Well, that would be a good reason. It's that bottom button, yeah, that not that one. Yeah. The bottom silver button, Alan. Where are we headed to, Douglas? Well. Honestly, um, you know, there's several volcanoes around. I tried to tried to show everybody the one over here um, at first, but <clears throat> a lot of, and I don't know if it's superstition or what, but a lot of people have been saying that there's been some activity kind of between where the volcanoes are. So, you know, we we actually picked this spot. We picked this spot because we're right in the middle of uh, we're right in the middle of several volcanoes. You can't tell, but there's like two right there, one behind the other one, but that's one. We've got another one right there. There's another one right there. And then there's actually, you can't see it from here, but, but there's one back around here and one right here. So looking on the map, we seem to be pretty close to the center. Yeah, we're probably kind of in the middle of it. Yeah, we call it the epicenter. Um, this this uh, resort here was actually closed down several years ago. Um, because so many of the guests came up missing right and um, and it was you know a lot of the older Guatemalan women swore it was a chupacabra but the but anyway the place closed down but my uncle he's kind of like caretaker so he's letting us stay up here for free yeah. and um, uh, Garrett had some topology maps out last night and um, yeah. we're gonna go ahead and hit some of these trails um, I've got I've got a two a two-man um, uh, tent back here and uh, Garrett I think you've got one too we've got food for I guess what three or four days we'll let Alex sit outside the corner yeah. won't track the chupacabras right. okay all right let's get started you ready all right here we go let's do it here we go team Ooh, on three. Chupa all right, all right. 
Hey, uh, dude, hey, Garrett. What's up? Um, I'm a little hungry. Is that something I can eat? Uh, no, that's, no, definitely not. See that, see that, see the color? Well, we can't see the color because of the camera. Sorry, dude, I only had so much money. Whatever. Well, yeah, you can't eat that. All right, well, I won't eat that. So. Come on, let's keep going. Right. Now, Garrett, you were scouting ahead. You saw some, yeah. you saw, like, some footprints. Yeah. Do you remember which way they were? Oh, yeah, they're over here. You're almost like hit me in the head with that. Somebody's <laughs> already been here before. And they went this way. But oh, gosh. The, tra the tr tracks don't keep going. The leaves are laid down, too. That's weird. They stop here. All right, press so, on. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off because I'm going through film a little quicker than I thought. Okay. So, um,. Sometimes I like I'm not quite sure if Brandon's believing any of this is going on because he makes a lot of jokes, but um You know, I know Garrett's done a lot of he's done a lot of studying and he knows what he's looking for and um, hey, Doc. What's that? Come take a look at this. Huh? See that was Garrett, so might be something <laughs> What you got dude? Yep, those aren't human prints. Oh, you saw some tracks? Maybe. Let me see. Tracks of see what? See that there? The three? Yeah. His heel? Oh, that's kind of... So, that's packed in pretty good, which is kind of giving me the idea that there's some weight under it. So, do you think it's what we think it is? We're still if it is, about Chupacabra. it can't be more than a mile away from us. No, we're talking about Ronald McDonald. His big clown shoes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Chupacabra. I mean, that looks legit. I mean, man, I hadn't spent all the time studying you have, but... It's, so it's how, gotta be close. How far you think? Probably like a, less, a little less than a mile. Probably like, I don't know, half all a right. mile. Well, let's, yeah, let's get, uh, might want to get the, the pepper spray and the, the you know, the... I'm ready. I, I, yeah, the I'm knives the and stuff stoppings, like that. All right. Well, let's keep going. Here, I'm gonna turn this off so I can get down this thing. What's up, Allie? I'm hot, I'm gonna have takes and... All right, we're gonna go home, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Oh my God! What, what, dude, what? what? There's your chupacabra. Shut <laughs> up, man. You're such a jerk. Stop, please. Let's just keep uh, going. You know what, I hope that thing eats you. It would serve you right. That's about as real as anything's gonna get here. You'll see. All right, so in the word of SpongeBob, uh, 10 miles later, and absolutely nothing, no more tracks, no more anything. And according to uh, Bear Grylls over here, hey, we were on. supposed to see one nine miles ago. Dude, we're tired, What? what's going on? Well, I didn't say that, the, the, that they were tracks, I just said that if they were, then it'd be close. I, it was I a feral know. dog. That's what it was. No, it wasn't. It's not a chupacabra, guys. That was definitely a chupacabra. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yes, it was a chupacabra. Okay, chupacabra connoisseur. Okay, have okay. you ever seen one? Oh. Um, yeah, actually. No, um, you haven't. Yes, I have. Exactly. When? When I was in uh, Mexico that one time, like two years ago on that cruise. I was, I swear, I was like walking down the street and then... Well, how are you walking down the street on a cruise? Because we stopped, obviously. We stopped on the cruise and got off the boat and we were all shopping in Cozumel. And, um, and I was walking by and this invalid. old... Shut up, I'm telling a story. And so anyways, um, I was telling a story. And Please so, finish because this, is this film is expensive. Up. And so we were walking down the street and this old guy like stopped me and he started talking in like Spanish or whatever. That, they, and, um, they tend to do that in Mexico. Okay, anyways, and so he was talking in Spanish, and um, and he started talking about chupacabra in the street, and then it disappeared. I don't. It think It was like I a white, glowy, like it had green eyes. It and I saw it with my own eyes. <laughs> you believe that? Do I have to dignify um, that with a response? Do you believe um, it's that? It's true. So. Well, at least we know what to look for. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on. Oh. All right. It okay. Okay. Close, okay. Okay. Right? I know. Hey. Okay. So Let's just go back for the night. It's getting dark. It is getting dark, and it's I don't. Hot, I really and don't feel like. Bit by bugs and. Let's Allie. go back. Can we please leave her Why? at the hotel? Um. All right. Waste of a day. 
Man, that kind of kind of sucked. Well, I mean, guys, we didn't find anything today. After a long day of chupacabra hunting, I think I'm gonna go get in the pool. I don't know about y'all, but I'm gonna head that way. That's fine. You haven't been much help anyway. Oh. Ooh, someone is mad because his little feline friend didn't get found today. You haven't been contributing anything to this. All you've been doing is poking fun at all the things that we've been saying about the chupacabra. Plus, right? it's not a feline, dude. Oh, I'm sorry, canine. Yeah. I think we'd be better off if you didn't even show up tomorrow, all right? I've heard of Dawson scary. Hey, dude, I'll come. Don't, don't let it get to you, man. Garrett. Good night. All right, dude, I'll see you in the morning. So I knocked on Allie's door. She's not quite ready. Knocked on uh, Garrett and Brandon's door, and neither one of them are there, which is a little weird because they were kind of having a fight last night. Oh, there you are. Hey. I couldn't find Brandon. Take a look what I found, though. Who am I? Oh, look at me. I'm Brent. I know nothing about everything. I know everything about nothing. I know nothing about nothing. Wait, are those his glasses? <laughs> yeah, it sure looks like it. Where'd you find them? Yeah, I found them right on the pool side here. On the pool side? Well, did you check the pool? Check it out. I mean, he went swimming last night. I don't know. I think he just forgot. Well, I, I mean, I hadn't been able to find him this morning. Be kind of forgetful sometimes. Well, seriously though, I can't find him. Are, are we going with him or without him? Yeah. We were better off without him anyway. You sure? Yeah. Definitely. I mean, he does have a bad gas problem too, so that that makes it worse. He has more problems than that. <laughs> All right. Well, Ellie says she's ready, so let, let's let's head out. All right. Vamos. Man, second day is kind of rough, and we don't have dude here. Yeah, he... ran out straight bailed on us. No, dude, I wouldn't be surprised at all if that brother is not hiding in the bushes waiting to, you know, waiting yeah. to show us you know, how stupid yeah. he thinks he is. Really, he never really thought anything of this anywhere. All right, Al, you got the map. Which way do you think we ought to go? Um, I think we should go this way. We have not been that way yet. All right. Wait, wait. All right, take off. Let's go. Okay. You see these broken tree limbs, right? You see these broken tree limbs? Yeah, but they look like they've been there a while. Oh gosh. What? What, what was that? Where's, where's Allie? Look, look. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! No. A Allie! No. Allie! 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 Um. Uh, dude, what do we do? She's... We gotta go back. Go back? Don't we have to find her? I, I don't want to risk anything right now. We gotta go back. Just think all this through. And then... So we're just gonna leave her here? Ah, uh, yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's go. All right. It's getting dark, dude. I, I don't want to end up. Ah, I don't want to end up like that. My gosh. I tell you, I'm freaked out now. Um, I haven't seen Brandon in a couple of days, and I. I mean, I was, I was, I was sure that that he just, you know, bailed on us, or maybe he's even trying to be, you know, some of the um, some of the sounds that we've heard are just trying to freak us out because he really didn't believe us. But but then when Allie disappeared, um, you know, it, that's just not like her. Her personality, that's just not like her. And then um, Garrett, who's probably been my best friend since, I mean, we were kids. Um, Dude, something freaked him out. I, something freaked him out, and he is gone. And I know that dude would never do anything like that. And I just, I wish I could find somebody. But, um, but anyway, um, well, 
What was that noise? Camera not in focus when I need it to. Invest in a better camera, Doug. Look. So. I don't even know where I am. Ah! Oh my, oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, Garrett, Garrett! Garrett! Oh my god. Um, so I can't, I can't find my way back, um, I've, I've been wandering around for, for about eight hours now, and uh, I'm, I'm being, I'm being hunted, uh, Carrot's dead. Allie, she's, she's dead. And Brandon bailed on us, I, I, I guess, and... Oh, I, what's that? Who's there? Who's there? I, I keep hearing things. I feel just, I'm gonna die out here. I, it's my fault. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Garrett. I'm sorry, Allie. I just. What, 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 what? what is it? Who's there? I'm gonna... 